Getting all dressed up for the afterlife, here's your look at the Kotobukiya Hor Bashojo Beetlejuice Red Tuxedo version. Beetlejuice joins the Kotobukiya Hor Bashojo series again through the art of Shunya Yamashita, this time in wedding tuxedo. Sporting a half-high pony in killer boots, she leans on a headstone inspired by the movie, gushing mischief through a unique design. Beetlejuice's tuxedo jacket is sculpted as a tailcoat. She holds the handbook of the recently deceased while giving a wink and showing off her watches and ring in a large red stone. The head part of the limited edition can be swapped out with the original Beetlejuice Bashojo statue, giving fans more opportunity to customize. Another opportunity to check out the Ghostest with the Mostest. Of course, before we get a closer look at the Red Tuxedo Limited Edition Beetlejuice Bashojo statue, we're going to first have a look at how tall the statue stands. By startling, I'm sure, all of you, the viewing audience, by bringing my tape measure, we're going to take it right to the very top of her head. I'm going to move it across just so I'm not hitting anything around it. I'm going to stop it right there. The Limited Edition Bashojo Beetlejuice stands 9.2 inches in height. Let's switch that over to centimeters, revealing that the statue is 23.4. So it's about 23. It's almost 23 and a half centimeters tall. And we have, we have done this before. Well, not this one, not this one specifically, but we have looked at a Beetlejuice Bashojo statue before, and I'm freeing up the space to bring in the other one so you can see the difference between the two. Well, mold, you could say, is about the same between the two. They have definitely changed things up with the attire. And I think it might have been a case where they may have swapped out just a few of the component pieces, like the torso we'll talk more about in a second, of course. And this one also supports a brand new head sculpt, which is something also I really like about it. We'll do more comparisons with the original Beetlejuice in a second, but first let's pick this one up and have a look at it. I was actually surprised to find this at my local comic book store. I was in for something else, and while I was looking around the statue area, I just happened to stumble across a Beetlejuice, and I thought, I just assumed it was the one that I had already picked up. Lo and behold, it ended up being the Tuxedo Rare version. I don't think it's as rare as it was before. I know at one point it was really selling out, and it was impossible to find this. So again, finding it in a local comic book store was just an absolute treat. But I've noticed that a lot of online sites that originally had sold out of this piece now have started to stock it again. So it may not be the case where it's so rare anymore. Now, this one, as you can see, is holding the handbook for the recently deceased. One thing that does differ between this one and the other Beetlejuice, which I guess, yeah, all right, we'll bring in the other one right now so you can see the difference between the two. The other one would have had the nail file. I haven't lost it, don't worry if you think that I lost the nail file. I just left it off for this because I didn't need it necessarily for the comparisons, so it's back in its plastic tray. The bodies, though, as you can see, are identical, or at least in the sense that the way that they've been molded are identical what, however, they have changed, and it's rather interesting the way that they've done it. Actually, we'll just put this one down here for a second and look at the original Beetlejuice. This one has the more familiar striped jacket and, in this case, skirt. What they have done, though, is if you look at the torso area here, right above the button, you can probably follow your eye around, right around here. Yes, everybody follow your eye around the bust area of Beetlejuice. I believe they actually have just simply removed this whole... Well, this part right here and just right underneath the neck, they've just replaced that part out with this part right here. I mean, you can see that the jacket is the same as well as the skirt and the tails of the jacket are also identical. It is just a case where they have removed sort of the top bust area and replaced it with more of the frilled collar that we get with the red tuxedo version. It's kind of clever the way that they really have constructed that. In fact, you see it probably a little bit more here on this one. See the little outlined right underneath yes follow everyone the bust area of beetlejuice right around to the other side and literally they just taken that off and replaced it with the other one to give us the original beetlejuice or vice versa the arms are also something of course that have changed we'll again bring this one back in so you can see the difference between the two sleeve wise nothing does differ but then simply just replacing brand new arms you have first of all a different gesture and different accessories that also can be held with beetlejuice the neat thing also about this that I really like is that the head sculpt is removable. We'll start first with the stock head sculpt so you can see. 
I like this one. And it's got a little squinting eye on the one side. Very beautiful eye on the other. Very bright green covering there. And a little reflection in the top corner goes a nice long way. Let's... This is driving me crazy. I have a little fiber there on her lip. I like the smile. It's a very pretty looking head sculpt. To be fair, really, the original Beetlejuice was also quite a pretty head sculpt as well. Sort of more playful as, of course, she's filing her nails. But the neat thing about this is that you can actually replace the head sculpt out. So if you want to pop this one off and replace it with the other one, just one last time seeing it. The hair is one of my favorite takeaways from this statue. I really like the way that they've sculpted that and colored it as well. But, go ahead, very carefully, you want to avoid the little hairs on either side. You don't want to bend those by mistake. Just wiggle the head off the socket, like that, and just remove it. It's going to be a bit strange right now that Beetle just has decapitated body, but one last time you can see the head sculpt there. The hair is fun. Not your traditional Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice certainly would not have had as much hair as this one does here, but really nice looking hair. Okay, okay. I know we're getting off topic here. So let's go ahead and just pop this one off. And we'll put, again, two decapitated Beetlejuice bodies down for the time being. One last time so you can see the difference between the two. Paint is similar. I will say maybe that the hair on the original one might be just a tad lighter, especially right around here. It's a little bit lighter than this one. But we're going to go ahead and play swapsies. We're going to take this head sculpt. And we're going to fit it then. And you know what? i got to tell you. It would have been really disappointed if they had teased a removable head and then you went to replace them and then realized the pegs are a completely different shape. I would have said, no, that's, that's cheap. Please don't do that. But anyways, you can go ahead carefully and just put the head sculpt back into the original Beetlejuice and we'll go ahead and do the exact same thing on then the tuxedo version again just popping that down I didn't think I was probably going to settle on the idea of swapping the two head sculpts but you know when I've now seen them together like this I you know what I kind of like the original Beetlejuice having this head sculpt this one, I think, kind of works quite well with having the handbook and the fact that she's at the wedding. I don't know. It's more personal preference than anything else. The neat thing then, again, about it is if you have them both on display and you decide later you want to swap the heads out, it's easy. Just pop them right back off, swap them back the way that they were originally, and you're good to go. But I think I might just end up settling on this one for the time being for the stock Beetlejuice. Of course, that's not what we're seeing in this review, so we'll go have to replace the heads back carefully again, just wiggling these off. There we go. There's the one. There's the two. And we'll just put this back on for the time being. This really, I think, marks the first time that a Bishojo statue has given you a head swap that you can then swap out with one that they've released prior. Let's make sure that's all the way in. I did notice, though, when I had this first Beetlejuice, maybe I wasn't pushing it down nearly enough the first time. The head was wiggling. Yeah, it's still wiggling a little bit. This one doesn't wiggle, I noticed, as much. Could be maybe just the angle of it. I don't know. Anyways, we have already looked at this Beetlejuice, so if you want to see a full review of that, feel free to check out my channel. Shameless plug, of course. The tombstones, by the way, I guess we can kind of keep things in frame for the time being. You can see the tombstones seem identical as well as the paintwork. The brushing of this lighter, almost rosy colored brown seems a little bit higher on the back of the tombstone than the other, but I would imagine mileage may vary, and depending on what statue you have, yours might be just a little bit higher or lower than mine. The dirt also seems to be the same, just a little bit more of that kind of coloring that we talked about earlier. It's already around the bottom area here. Um, also, flip this around so you can see the difference. We bring the other one in as well. Both say Barbara, wife of Adam, who departed this life too soon. So they haven't changed anything different about that at all. I, you know, I don't think necessarily they would have had to change anything else. The very fact that we're getting brand new head sculpts, brand new arms, brand new accessories, or at least the fact that she has the handbook in the one hand and this one had the nail file. Yeah, sure. Even if they kept the rest of the bodies the same, doesn't bother me too much. Okay, finally, finally, finally we'll move that out of the way. Let's now get a closer look going back to the original head sculpt that we looked at before. Now, this one doesn't have any accessory in the other hand, although she does have all these additional watches. She's got a ring on her finger there as well. And, of course, we've already talked about the handbook for the recently deceased. That's a nice touch to include that. It's not open. It's a closed book. But at least she's got that in her hand. 
even though, again, it's using the same body, I really like the coloring that they've used here. It's kind of a bit of a wine red, and it's not just the wine red either. They've airbrushed some additional darker colors in there as well, but little snaps on the sides of the skirt. The original one also had the gold there as well, so they haven't changed anything there. You've also got a little snap button there on the top there as well. But I love the ruffled collar area here of her top. Again, just swapping that out from the one that we had gotten before. The tail of the jacket is also the exact same. The interior of the other one also had that purple as well, so nothing really got, does get changed here. And of course, then when you get to the leggings, the leggings, while the sculpting is the same, this one is a lot lighter of a variety. The other one, if you remember, well, didn't have to remember that far ago, this one here had the more darker brown. And the boots that she was also sporting were all black. This one continues a trend of having the boots, the white, the same coloring as, as the tights. Even though, like, the tights aren't quite the same coloring of as the boots. The boots are more of a solid white. These are kind of more of a slightly more pearl color. But I really like this statue. It was one of those cases where I never really thought I would ever have it in my possession. Originally seeing it online and then it sold out. I thought to myself, okay, if I was going to track this down, I would have to probably go on the likes of eBay and pay some crazy ridiculous prices in order to pick this one up. And sure enough, lo and behold, I happened to go to my local comic book store. Maybe Kota Bikia restocked these, but I was able to find the regular Beetlejuice there. And I also found the Beetlejuice red tuxedo version, which again, we can just slide over, bring in the original Beetlejuice so you can see one last time before we wrap things up and take things to the rotisserie. You can see again, just keep keeping really the same body in mind and just changing out the head sculpts, changing out the accessories, and changing out the colors, you got two very distinctly different looking Beetlejuices, and a problem now I'm being plagued with. Do I want to swap out the heads? I think I might. I think I might actually take the heads from both the statues and whoop, switch them around and have them with the different head sculpts than what they originally started with. The Horror Bishoujo of Beetlejuice Red Tuxedo version, I believe, marks the first time that a Horror Bishoujo has been released as a colored variant. Technically, yes, you could say that there was that Ash Williams bloodied version, but really that still kept the same statue that we got before, and they just simply splattered blood across. I don't even know if I'm going to try to track that down. I'm stopping myself actually mid-sentence saying that. I'm probably still going to track that down. But Beetlejuice, though, there's enough going differently here that you're not simply just feeling like... Oh, we're doing this again. I mean, yes, they could have just simply colored the original costume, just that wine red that we're getting here. Kept the same head sculpt, kept the same nail file. And I probably still would have picked it up, but I would have thought, mm, I feel like they could have done something a little bit more differently to it. And they have. Not only changing the ruffled top part of her, of her jacket, or the, the shirt underneath the jacket, giving her a brand new head sculpt, a brand new book of the recently deceased that she can actually have in her hand. Yeah, really, the rest of it is all still the same, but I feel there's still enough going for it. The fact that, at the very least, that they gave us a brand new head sculpt, I think is just the reasoning alone to want to pick up the statue and add it to your collection. That is, of course, if you're collecting the horror Bishoujos. If you want to avoid these like the plague, no matter what I'm doing and saying in final looks here, won't persuade you. But I think I really like the touches that they've done to this, and... Yeah, I do think I'm probably going to swap out the head sculpts. The more I'm looking at it and the more I'm looking at the other one, I, I don't know, I, I kind of like the neutral head on the striped Beetlejuice. And I kind of like the more open mouth here, I think, on the red tuxedo. Of course, it didn't come with this statue. So for the rest of this review and on the rotisserie, I decided just to kind of keep the head sculpt the way it was because that's the way the statue came out of the box. But yes, I will be changing it right after this review. Nobody cares. I'm just throwing that out there anyways. Have you picked up the Horror Bishoujo from Kotobuki of Beetlejuice, the Red Tuxedo Limited Edition, which I guess isn't so limited anymore. This comic store had like four of them, four or five of them. I was surprised. I, even if I had found the one, I would have picked it up, but the fact that they had that many, and then again, I'm checking online, and scarcity wasn't as what it was. It seems to be a lot easier to find this, even though it's a little bit more limited edition. So if you are looking to pick this one up for yourself, check your local comic book stores. Don't check places like eBay. Don't pay inflated prices because you'll then be quite the sad clown to see these at your local comic book stores and various online sites as well. Don't go on eBay, whatever you do. If you guys are new to this channel, enjoying all the content you're seeing, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Turn the bell notification on and keep your peepers peeled to this channel because there will in fact be more Kota Bikias and other statue reviews lined up and coming your way. And as always, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.